Hi there, this is the Dancing Knights in the B5 sack, and it's yet another line in the B5 sacrifice in the Sveshnikov variation of the Sicilian, which we've covered extensively in many other videos, so we're going to quickly run through the opening moves. After e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight f6, knight c3, and the Sveshnikov variation, which is typified by the move e5. After knight b5, black closes the hole with the move d6, bishop g5, pinning the knight on f6, and a6 driving the white knight back to a3, b5 threatening to continue on with b4, which will fork both the knights. So white can immediately play knight d5, or the line we've examined, bishop takes f6, g takes f6, and now knight d5. Black tries to unblock the pawns with the natural and logical move f5. And white will continue now with bishop takes on b5. This is the typical sacrifice in this variation. After a takes on b5, knight takes on b5, and these knights are heading for c7, one of them at least. The best line seems to be the one preferred by former world champion Gary Kasparov, rook to a4, which gets the rook out, out of harm's way with aggressive intentions as well. So knight c7, knight bc7 check first, then king d7, and white can castle now. White could have played c4, b4 as well. And now black can try this move, rook g8, with aggressive intentions along the g file. And I believe white's next move, g3, is overcautious, and a better option would have been c4, which hits the rook on a4 with the queen on d1. But after this move, g3, black is doing very well after rook takes on e4, and now after queen h5, which threatens mate, queen takes on f5 mate, black will defend adequately with a big advantage with move knight e7, not only defending f5, but providing an all-important flight square for the king on c6. However, black might consider another idea, queen g5, offering to trade queens with advantage. White will continue queen takes on f7 check, and if the knight now drops back to e7, obviously that's a mistake because there's a mate, mating threat there on e8. So black will play bishop e7, and that square now on e8 is covered by the rook. White now can try this very interesting idea, knight to e6, and this is where black can run into trouble. The knight is hitting the queen, um, Black's best idea here is to drop the knight back to d8 to hit the white queen in return with an equal position. However, if now the queen on g5 were to move, say, to g4, there's another mating threat here with knight b6, and that is an embarrassing checkmate. So this has been the dancing knights in the b5 sack of the B5 sacrificial line in the Sveshnikov variation of the Sicilian. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.